Hello and welcome to my tarot corner and this is my tarot reading. It is uh, vibrational and is subjected to interpretations. It exists as assumption or speculation and as such may or may not be true. You decide. So this reading is a BS detector reading about the the um, uh, let's say the um, rumors that the Sussexes bought an apartment in New York. Now, this deck is the Smith Smith Weight deck. Why is that different than the Rider Weight? Uh, the coloring is probably more the way that Pamela Smith, who actually did the art for the Rider Weight Smith uh, tarot. Uh, it probably more like the way she actually painted it and when this when you buy this deck you also get uh, some extra terror uh, extra art that she made uh, it's all it's very nice uh, scenes that are not connected to tarot and uh, unless you can, you can see this card as the lover's card, but uh, these are uh, different uh, different uh, um, style and different uh, um, art that Pamela Smith did. So you get that with the, this deck as well. Uh, but I'm using it uh, for this. As I said, I am not in the mood for happy decks today. So this is why I'm using this deck right now. And I'm going to ask about the Harkles and their New York apartment. Did they really buy a New York apartment? Did they try to buy a New York apartment? So first I'm going to clear the deck. And let's start asking. So, did the Harkos try to buy a New York apartment? Did they buy a New York apartment? What is the truth behind those rumors? Did they buy a New York apartment? Was it? What is the truth and what is false? So, the first card is just the card that explains or shows us the question in hand. And the card that I'm getting is the Page of Sword. So first of all, it's a yes card. It's a card that shows us that they did want to buy an apartment in New York. The Page of Sword is a card that speaks about uh, the reporter. So a reporter, uh, or in this instance, the Page of Sword, is a person that has tendency to lie, but it is also a lot about communication and a lot about slick tongue and uh, studies. So this is a yes card, uh, but it does show us that they think that their communication uh, could be uh, better used if they have uh, an apartment in New York. So it does look like they did try to buy an apartment in New York. But what is the lie behind this? And the lie is the moon. So the moon is a card, a very hard card, because the moon is a card that shows us mental is instability. Now, because this is the the this is the uh, the lie, it doesn't mean that they don't have mental disability. What they what it means is that the bad or the negative aspects of this card are coming out even more uh, profound. So this is a person that has a tendency to stay in his comfort zone. This is all about confusion. Uh, this is about fear to take initiative, about pro procrastination and being unstable, sadness, depression. So, and this is because uh, this uh, because this is the lie this is what it shows it shows that uh, both of them are unable to take uh, 
uh, actual uh, decisions. They have difficulties with that. Uh, this is about being afraid to take initiative. This is what this card is all about. So this only shows us that the mental health instability of the moon card is even more profound because it comes in the lie position. And when the moon card comes out, it just shows us how terrible his their the at least harry's mental state is but both of them because we're talking about both of them and how profound the mother is because the moon card is the mother card so um uh, the mother is very profound here for both of them she the, the mother uh, figure here is very very strong so this is the lie so what is the truth and the truth is the Five of Wands. So the Five of Wands shows us a struggle, but a struggle that they can win if they take, they ask for uh, help. Now, the, since they probably are not asking for the right kind of help, it's not certain that they will get through that struggle and gain the victory that the Six of Wands uh, promises us. So it looks like there is a struggle. It could be struggle between themselves. It could be struggle um, uh, between them and uh, people around them, but it looks like it's not an easy path for them. So both cards show me that it's not something very easy for them, whether it's not easy financially, whether it's not easy because of their mental state, but both of them are in poor mental health and they need help. This card just shows how much they need help. They can only gain the victory if they ask for the right kind of help. Now, if they don't ask for the right kind of help, uh, it's probably not going to work for them. So let's see how will it pan out. What is the near future shows us? And the new future shows us the Ace of Pentacles. So it looks like they will be able to buy this apartment because the Ace of Pentacles is all about uh, being able to uh, realize your needs in the material world. What is very important about this card is that if you want your needs to be to be made or to be realized, you need to be very, very precise with those needs. Usually it takes help. It is another card that shows that they need help. So both these cards shows that, show us that they need help. And if they take the right kind of help, they will be able to get that apartment. It, according to this, it shows me that they want this apartment. They want an apartment in New York. Uh, if they want, if they they did buy it, I think that they didn't yet. But they are trying to buy it. Uh, they will be able to do that if they get the right kind of help. If they if they are able to show the universe what are their real needs. But as long as they don't, then it will be a very hard uh, a hard venue for them and it will implicate their mental health very much. So altogether, uh, the, the, this reading just shows me how difficult it is for them, but how much they want it and the fact that they need to ask for the right kind of help in order to succeed to get that apartment. So keep NYC mega trash free, beware, because you see, it looks like you're going to have new neighbors that you don't like. So I hope... I hope that they won't succeed, but it does look like they will be able to succeed if they're, they're, the help that they are getting is the right kind of help, they will be able to succeed with this venture. So I'm asking the Gaia Oracle for the energies around that. 
So first I'm clearing the, the deck. So what are the energies around Harry and Meghan uh, trying to buy a New York apartment? What are the energies around their attempt to buy a New York apartment? So, the, the, it's funny. This card says Sacred Earth Mother. So, once again, the mother is very, very pro, pro, prominent. Once again, this is about having the right uh, energy, having the right, uh, the right help. It uh, could be that they need their mother's help that could mean uh, the inheritance that harry got from his mother uh, to finance that uh, that purchase it could be uh, they that they need uh, doria's help in a way but it looks like a, a very much a, a mother's help and the second card is rising above so this card just shows that if they can rise above their own uh, uh, feelings that they can do everything that they, they want, that they are uh, free as birds and they can, do what, they can do what they want, they don't need anyone's help, this is asking them to rise above that. You, you need to ask for the right kind of help. If you don't rise above that, if you don't admit that you need help, it won't work. So whether they are able or not, that's a very good question. But uh, I'm, I'm sure that the future will show us. So I hope you liked it, and if you did, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Leave me a comment. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.